Hello, today I'm going to do a tutorial for uh, the easiest level in the game. It's Ditch Machine by Jazer. Now I'm going to start with this. To just play this first part in the editor like this, but pretty much you got to fall on. You've got to use both of these. So the first thing you do is switch up to the top, and then you just spam for a bit until you hit this block. So it's like, and you just come up here. And then when you get on this block, you just drop and hit both of them. And then you just go down, hit this orb, hit that orb, then hit that orb. It's really not that complicated, so it looks like this. Now that's not complicated at all. This is where it starts to get complicated. Rusty. I'm a bit rusty. Uh, now this one, it, uh, probably playing preview mode or something. So this first bit here sort of sinks. You've just got to hit this orb lay, and then hit that blue orb. Other than that, there's really not much to it. And then you just got to know that you jump immediately here, hit that orb, and then hit that orb. There's not much else to this. Uh, hit this late, then hold for two jumps. Yeah, it's not not much else to say about that. It syncs quite well with the music. And the, the other things, just remembering which orbs are not to be used. Oh wait, I said hold for two jumps here. Actually, just hit this one late and do one jump, then stop and click again for the next jump. Other than that, make sure you don't hit this orb and hit the platform here by mistake. But no, I mean, hit this orb instead. I mean, hit this platform instead, third time lucky. Uh, other than that, it's literally just knowing which ones are wrong. If it helps, just play it in the editor without, so you can see which one with the cross on them. And then. This is uh, where it starts to get kind of difficult. So, there's. So, I, I guess the way, the way I did it when I beat the level was like this I split it into four sections. Well, multiple sections. The first section is just this part. So when you get in, you immediately start holding. And literally, your marker to stop holding is when you notice this ship is around here and the cube. Yeah, just make sure when the ship's around here, you stop holding, like, so you don't jump by mistake. And that works. And then you've literally just got to fly by spamming. Focus on the ship there, and then when you're ready, just come down. I recommend just hitting it into here and making sure, once again, the cube doesn't jump too many times. And then it's the exact same thing again, but you don't have to go down. You just stop when that happens, and you stop completely. And you don't press anything again until this orb, which is the time. You've got to time it right, it's not that hard, and then you just hold. I mean, you do press something, you have to tap once here, gently, don't tap too hard, don't hold for too long, just click once, and you've got to time this really early and then just hold. And then this one's a weird one. So th this, this is literally all based on the cube here. You've just got to follow the cube, but whenever you jump, it's got to be like holding. So th there's really no way to explain it. This one's sort of just figuring out how they go together, but it's not that hard to figure out. But it's like this. So the first jump, when you to get up here, you hold, and then over this these two spikes, it's just small taps, and then this orb, you just hold. 
and you want to make sure the ship doesn't hit this block and it just goes under. And then you get to this ship part, literally follow this. Just don't get too stressed. Drop down here. Okay, so this is moderately hard. Why why my cube? Uh yeah. So we're gonna start with three as soon as the ball is around here, three quick taps. Or the UFO is around here, I mean. So look. So, there's not much of a tactic to it, there's no like counting for this. The first one is three taps, yes. This one you just gotta click enough times this, that's one, two, three, four. So at least four times, just in the right rhythm, before you go into this portal. But make sure you don't do less than four. So, let me just remember this myself. Alright, I'm gonna do this one just like this. So, other than that, it's just sort of like you jump up here like it's a cube wait till you're at near the edge of this block jump once wait a sec and then as, like, like when you're around here I'd say just start spamming to get to that portal then stop the ball should be down here and then you just jump onto this platform the ball would be up there and then as soon as you get around here you just jump like with the UFO to that and then it, it's quite easy to the end So yeah, four clicks at the top, I'd say. But sometimes you get stupid things happen like that. It's kind of like... So it's like rhythmic, sort of, so... And then this ball part, you just... You can kind of see where the fake ones are. It's really easy, but if you can't... Just it's literally hard to see in the editor, so it is a matter of just learning it. Like, don't hit that orb. Don't don't hit any of the orbs in this part. Really, I think it's yeah. You, you literally don't hit a single orb in this part. So yeah, this part is just don't be an idiot. Easy wave, just drop down here, don't go up there like an idiot. Plenty of space there. And just don't get stressed and tap the ceiling because then you'll be done. It, it's really not that hard, so yeah. I, I recommend you beat this level.